Greetings. This is Elder Blacklight. Once again, you're in tune with our last 24-7 prime time. God vision and this is the God zone. This video here, we're going to take a break in a way from talking about the Illuminati and go into trignology. What is trignology and uh, what is the effect of trignology? Trignology is the conning, the tricking or the conning of the mind or brain. And a part of trignology is psychology. Psychology is the study and behavior, behavior of people. Now this book right here is the a book of experiments that the scientists, the psychologists, and the scientists used to uh, engineer a whole population of people. How they could uh, herd people like cattle into a certain trend of thinking using uh, methods like I'm reading uh, some of my notes here like uh, lies number one is lies uh, using illusions, hypnosis torturing terrorizing or brutally uh, brutality uh, brainwashing uh, mental conditioning drugs religion, religious misinterpretation uh, or medication uh, sex they could even use sex see reason why I'm going into this is because YouTube uh, sent me an email saying they will no longer give my subscribers any notification of my uploading new videos so, this is a form of uh, censorship. Uh, so, the only way I can think of to uh, beat this right here is to for you to share with your friends anytime you uh, tune into my channel on a regular basis. Tune into my channel and... If you if it was a video you think that uh help you know the people uh but see a lot of people let me stop this thought that that train of thought right there and go into a lot of people are still asleep when when we mean by still asleep if they don't realize that they even have an enemy especially black people. Now, the schools are not going to teach you this. The schools is part of censorship and a part of mental conditioning, a part of technology. A lot of technology comes through Hollywood, most of it, all of it, really. A lot of it comes through the churches. See, brothers make the mistake of condemning religion 
uh, period, which is, you know, that's a mistake. Because really that religion ain't nothing but the history of uh, the planet, really. The history of the planet, the history of the universe. Uh, in me metaphoric form and uh, like fairy tale form, but it's the truth. Just like the story of uh, the grasshopper and the ant, the ant. This is a short, quick illustration of how the truth can be told through using uh, animation or fairy tale, like you know, uh, wisdom to get to people that. Their, men their mentality is not mature. So the grasshopper and the ant, the ant was the grasshopper. He loved to, to, to play party, you know. He loved to party. He loved to make music, fiddle and dance and boogie, you know. And the ant was a serious type work, always in preparation for the winter. The ant know that winter will come one day. So the ant steadily worked through the summer, storing away food. The grasshopper party. You know, we say, I get to that when it comes. When, when, when that time comes, that's when we adjust. So the, the ant, he was laughing at the ant. You know, say. <laughs> All that hard work, man. You can party some a little bit. So anyway, to make a long story short, the ants stored away a whole bunch of food for their colony. And the grasshopper, he partied up to the last minute. And all of a sudden, winter came. Boom! On the, on the grasshopper. The ants were stored up for the, for the winter. But the grasshopper, he hadn't stored no food away, nothing but partying, getting high, sexing it up. And when winter came, he didn't have, he couldn't get out. Out, you know, he didn't even build a, a, a shelter for himself. He got caught out there in the cold and froze. In the grasshopper. So that's sort of like a metaphoric, uh, way to get to the truth in other words winter gonna come you know winter gonna come so you're supposed to have the foresight using past history winter came always winter came in the past you know and a lot of times you got caught 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 short of storing away food and you didn't have quite enough food and you suffered for it. or you didn't have a quite enough this and that and the other, and you suffer for it. When it's going to come. In other words, hard times is going to come. You know, until man get out of his mental conditioning, it's going to be hard times. You see, because we're conditioned to think that we're poor. You know, we conditioned to think that uh, the only way we can get, get prosperous is to uh, wait on the Caucasian or those who have plenty of money to give us a job so we can work for them. But you got to think about the early beginnings. When the United States first, when the George Washington and the boys came over here, they had to uh, kind of like be friendly with the Indians and the Indians had to teach them how to survive over here. The Indians never did. Had the same kind of system that the white man had. So the Indians, you know, they lived off the land. You know, they, they Mother Earth fed and took care of the Indians. But the Caucasian, he wanted to take the place of Mother Earth. He wanted to be their God. He didn't want the universe 
to supply the Indian. He wanted to be the, he wanted to conquer the Indian and control the Indians. So the Indians would have to come to him and he would be their God. The same he did with the black man. People of uh, pigmentation or people of melanin, he was jealous of. Because he knew that they were cosmic people. People of the sun, the moon, and the star. And he wasn't because he was a grafted, made man. And he was jealous of this, so he said, y'all going to have to bow down to me. You know, I'm going to make God do evil. Because when, when you do evil, you're bowing down to the devil. When, when you think, if you ain't got no money, you, ain't nothing you can do. Only thing you can do is uh, get high or do evil, evil deeds. You bowing down to the devil. And it tell you that in the Bible. It tell you that, but he don't explain it to you that way. He don't, when the preacher read the Bible to you, he say, you know, bow down to, to evil. Like when he tell you, God needs some money. So he passed the basket around. You're already struggling. Can't hardly pay that light bill, but you go to church thinking, that uh, you can pay that light bill through uh, praying. <laughs> he said, wait on Jesus. See, and even Jesus, when you if you read the Bible yourself, even Jesus say this. He said, if you give a man a, a fish, you only feed him for one day. But if you show a man how to fish, you'll feed him for a lifetime. A lot, lot, lot into that. You know what I'm saying? So, share this video with your friends. Give me the thumbs up much as you can. Because YouTube trying to shut me down because I'm, I'm telling to you like it is, man. I'm hitting them hard. No one else is talking like this. I don't care who it is. This is Black Light. Sugar and sugar, salt is salt. If you ain't digging this, then it ain't my fault. Stay tuned up.